lots of religions to choose from. Hundreds. Lots of them. Choose, take your pick if, you, if evolution is true. If evolution isn't true, then there's a creator, then you've got three. You've got Christianity, uh, Judaism, and um, uh, Islam. Muslim stuff. The Quran. Now, the Quran was written 600 years after the New Testament was written, and the Old Testament was written uh, up to 1,500 years before that. So we've got the Old Testament being written uh, more than 2,500 years before the Quran even was a, you know, even put a pen on paper. Uh, so it's been around and it's been uh, studied and oh, dissected for millennia. Okay, uh, 600 years after the New Testament itself, 600 years, six centuries after the New Testament was written, uh, the Quran comes along. So we, it's it, you know, we're talking when we're talking about the Bible, we're talking thousands of years old going on through history of mankind versus a book written 600 years later after the last part of the Bible. Okay, not the first part. The first part is to 2000 years plus okay so it's um yeah i don't they're not even for me they're not even comparable okay books um yeah not even comparable but they do both point to a creator which is great so you could be in the boat boat where you don't know about evolution anyway you don't know about any of them things but you do believe there is a god so you're not caught in that first thing is there a god which God is the one? Which Bible? Which religion? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, my goodness. Should we just, you know, man, throw in the towel. It's so hard. Well, I've tried to explain what Christianity is from, but you can only, you know, you can only talk to people. It's a, I believe Christianity is a revelation that occurs in your heart, that you believe it from your heart, and once you believe it from your heart, then you say, um... It's a choice. It's a decision, and it's interesting that we God is allowing us to have that. I think that's really amazing. One thing I would like to say, though, Christi about Christianity is these atheists bring up this whole argument of uh, evolution, creation, all that, and they are talking to me all the time. You know, bro, trying to debate with me, and they've got an argument. Okay, trying to argue with me. They've got arguments now. Their argument is about God existing in the first place. Now, the thing is, and they say to me, oh, well, you can't know the truth. You can't actually know. You can't say you know the truth. You can't. Um, they don't understand what Christianity is because Christianity is about relationship with God. Now, once you have a relationship with God, all sorts of weird and wonderful things start happening. Okay. Now, I'm not sure how well known this is in any other religion. But Christianity is about a restored relationship with God. Now, what happens when a relationship, according to the Bible, is restored? You have heaven, God's dwelling place, coming to earth around your life. Okay, what does the prayer of Jesus pray? It gets us to pray. Uh, your kingdom come. Where's his kingdom? His kingdom was on heaven. It's come to earth. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. Okay. Now. Your kingdom come. So we are trying to usher in God's heavenly kingdom. To this earth. And this realm. And what happens when you have a relationship with God. You have interaction. Because that's what relationship is. Interaction with the creator. So all these people are still debating. Is God real? Christians are having interaction with the god they believe in see that takes it to a totally different playing field i've had so many interactions with god and with the kingdom of heaven that it isn't a question about if god is real that question has long well and truly passed by god is real beyond a shadow of a doubt now what kind of spiritual experiences does a christian have well, Jesus says, my sheep will hear my voice. What? God talking to you? Yes. 
My sheep hear my voice. God talks to the people in the Bible. Go through the Bible. Look at it. God spoke to people. God spoke to the entire Israel nation. Okay? So it is very common for God to speak to people. Okay. Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice. And it is it. Uh, expecting to hear um, that if you're a Christian, expect to hear God's voice. Um, uh, there's actually a lot of spirits out, out there. And they're not all God. It's not from God. So you can, you know, hear lots of voices. Okay. There's not just God talking. <laughs> there's a lot of voices talking. Um, where do you think these religions came from? Okay. Now, if you truly believe that um, God is real, then you have to believe that there is what he says, like there is a heaven and there's angels and things like that. Now, he says there's angels that go around lying. There's lying, deceiving angels. Okay. Now, <laughs> now these lying, deceiving angels are very, uh, a lot of them are responsible for a lot of these false religions that actually are in the world at the moment. Now, <laughs> Jesus warns about that these there are lying, deceiving demons and spirits and angels. And so these things are running around, starting religions left, right and center over the over the uh, history of mankind. And so people who have had encounters with angels and angels have told them, oh, this is the truth. If the, if the guy who started the Mormon religion was telling the truth, that angels appeared to him and told him about the Mormon religion, he's one example. If... Um, Muhammad, who started the Islam religion, is telling the truth that an angel appeared to him and told him these things. He's had angels appear to him. Now, the problem is uh, the Bible warns about that this actually will happen and that they might not necessarily be telling the truth. Okay? So, uh, we have a big problem with uh, that. Okay? Um, 